The panic and confusion in Hawaii has got a lot of people thinking. Oh my God, what do we do? Would you know what to do if an alert like this popped up on your cell phone? Okay, everybody inside. Radiation safety expert Andy Karam says you can survive a nuclear attack, especially if you're a half a mile or more from the epicenter. After an explosion, there's gonna be fallout coming down and the fallout can be intensely radioactive. If you're outside, that can kill you. Come on down. But if you can get inside, if you can get at least 20, 30 feet between you and where the fallout's coming down, that distance will save your life. Where are we right now? Right now, we're in the basement of a big building and we're close to the center of that building. So as far away from the exterior walls and as far away from the roof as possible. You duck and cover tight against the wall this way. During the Cold War, duck U.S. citizens covered. were instructed to Atta duck and boy, cover in the event of a nuclear blast. Tight. And that advice still neck, holds true feet. today. Being under a desk or a table or something like that can shield you from bricks or chunks of the ceiling that are coming down. But what about that remarkable video from Hawaii of a little girl being dropped into a storm drain? Was that a smart thing to do? No, it's not. Columbia Hawaii. University really professor Erwin Redlener is a leading expert on disaster preparedness. Certainly you're more protected than you would be if you're just on the street or in a car. But you're not going to be able to stay there for 24 to 48 hours, especially with a child, especially with no food, no water, no other, no other supplies. What if you got the alert while driving? It happened to this motorist in Hawaii. This is not a drill. Take immediate action measures. A car is not a good shelter. Steve, you got to be out of the car in a building that's got enough reinforcement and is far enough away from the actual blast. So you can be in your car to get away from the uh, blast, but you really have to be in shelter in 15 to 20 minutes. If you do get contaminated by the fallout, you must get it off ASAP. Just brush your clothes off, brush your hair off before you go inside or immediately afterwards. As you shower, bend your head forward so the fallout doesn't get into your eyes or mouth. Experts recommend having an emergency readiness kit like this one packed with bottles of water, energy bars, a flashlight, and last but not least, a hand crank radio so you can pay attention to news broadcasts so you know when it's safe to go back outside. How long should we stay down here? It really depends. It could be as little as six hours. It could be as much as two to three days until the radiation decays to the point where it's safe to leave. The alert in Hawaii turned out to be a false alarm. Someone pushed the wrong button. But should the real thing ever happen, all is not lost. Inside.